Look at all these damn truckers. Everybody out here trying to get a dollar has been hard. These are the guys that make the country go round. I hope they're not going to the same port I'm going to. But uh, I take my hat off to all these truckers right here grinding. Nobody appreciates us. And this guy has it down. Okay, so they must be going to APL. This asshole does not want to let me over. Like people are, all this person has to do is slow down for a little bit. It's for 10 seconds. But we back at it, y'all. What up, it's your boy, Ryder. We back at these beautiful parts in Long Beach. Going to Merch Terminal. Thank God I'm not going to that uh, other terminal, APL, because uh, if you're going to APL, it's going to be a long day for you. But uh, we getting money today. That's all that matters. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button before we start. We got a quick little uh, video at the ports. I'm about to terminate and empty and pick up a load. Then we up out of here. I haven't been to Merck in a while. So uh, it's gonna get we're gonna get it cracking today, y'all. Let's get it. Look at all these trucks. Ports is getting kind of wild. Everybody's being impatient. Man, it's going to suck to go to that port today. I ain't seen uh, APL like that in a long time. But, you know, this is what's going to happen, guys. When the rates get back to normal and uh, the money's there and it gets extremely busy, this is this is how it's going to happen. You know, everybody, don't, everybody keeps saying uh, there's no faith in trucking right now. But uh, let me tell you guys a little secret. Right now, certain ports got the work. So you gotta you gotta find a port. If you guys wanna work the ports, you gotta find which port has the work available. You know, and uh, always try to get there to your appointment a few hours ahead of time. Because if you don't do that, you're gonna be stuck in a long line, long line like that. And if you miss your appointment time, they might honor it, they might not. So you just waited in that line for no reason and you're missing out on your money. So it's better to be early than late. I always remember that at the ports. You know, usually they'll let you in 30 minutes to an hour early. You know, uh, when I come to Merch, I always come an hour early. They scan my truck, my ticket pops out. I don't talk to nobody at the window. I try to get in and out as fast as I can with these ports, you know. It's beautiful weather today. It's clear skies at the ports of Long Beach. These truckers is waiting for their appointment. So as we know, once we come to Merch, Always have your um, twit car ready. And you show the guys that's waiting. Uh, most of the people, they look at it, but some people, they don't really care. They'll just wave you past. But we're gonna see um, right now how this uh, security guard is gonna handle me and the rest of the drivers. Always take your time when you guys come come this way between these uh these pillars right here because uh you see all the marks. And that's for all the nice drivers that come through flying down and smack and smack the side of the pillar right here and mess their trucks up. You know, I keep preaching to everybody, take your time. It's a marathon, not a race. But you know, a lot of people at the ports, they, they focus on, let's see how fast I can get this load done and get to the next one. It don't help you 
that much by speeding in these ports. You're not you you're not gonna get nowhere. All right, let's see what's up, what's up, homeboy. Just like that. So so them the twit car. I'm out. But yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of drivers they drive through these ports like we on the freeway, but it's like the ports try to make as much money off the drivers as possible. Find us. Uh, if you get banned from the ports, it can be a pretty hefty fine, and you have to pay the fine in order to come back inside the ports. Take these damn bumps. y'all so we in this thing got in with no complications pull up 20 seconds later your ticket pulls out so uh we're going to the lane exchange uh, i know you guys see a lot of uh things on social media like uh facebook and um instagram tiktok about the drivers being in the lane exchange and the machine picks up the container and the chassis isn't unlocked and it picks up the whole truck with the container and it drops the container in the truck, messes up the truck and everything. So like you guys gotta make sure like when I first get to the pedestals, I always unlock my chassis. Then when I park, whether I'm at uh Maersk or uh Tripack. I always double check and make sure it's unlocked. And, and I make sure I do that so the camera always, the camera at the ports always will see that I'm walking around the truck and double checking. Because you know what's gonna happen, if they pick your truck up and mess it up, they're gonna blame the driver and say it's the driver's fault because they didn't unlock it. But well, long as you got proof that it's unlocked, then that saves your ass. But if you ain't got no proof that you unlocked it, guess what? They're gonna try hard as possible to blame you, and you don't want that. So, though that it's very important to do that. You know, I know sometimes, like right now, my chassis is unlocked. But like, if I go over a few bumps, it might lock the chassis pins again. You know, that, that's what happens at these ports. You know, uh, you go over these bumps and go on these messed up roads, it uh, it can either um, lock the chassis pins back. So I always double check. So I know plenty of times I didn't got to a spot location. I, I, know, I know for sure my chassis pins were unlocked. Then once I get to the um, spot location, the short man will make me unlock my chassis pins again. And I'm like, damn, I just already unlocked them. But it looks like they're building more of the lane exchanges. So uh, it's gonna be quite interesting to see uh, in the next few months how these ports are gonna turn out. And uh, they're trying to uh, switch everything up and make every all the, uh, everything is gonna be automated probably this like uh Maersk is like one of the main ports uh and if they're doing it i'm pretty sure eventually other other places are going to do it too but uh let's wait in this line to see how fast we can get in and out here y'all all right y'all so when we up here at 8 p.m uh the short man right here is gonna let us know what lane we get into
Yes, sir. Okay. So he's gonna find the lane for me to go to, guys. And I'm looking to my right, and there's a lane right here <laughs> that's that's open. But uh, maybe he wants me to go farther. I don't know. All right, thank you. gotta pay attention when we park in here. You don't wanna mess nothing up. If it take you three hours to park, it shouldn't take you that long, but uh, just take your time. All right, y'all, so uh, when we pump backing up, make sure you guys stop where the white line is at. You don't wanna go back too far. That sign should help you guys figure out where the white line is. Make sure everything is good with the chassis pins.
Alright, alright y'all, we back uh, in and out. Been here only like 30 minutes, so we finna head to the exit. Uh, it's a real smooth situation with the lameness things, if you do it correctly. But if you don't park right, if you back up too far, then guess what? It's gonna help, it's not gonna help the machine grab your container. You're gonna be struggling, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the ports. Make sure you guys share this video, comment, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Follow me on Instagram, y'all. Let's get it.